hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is kelsey and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 advice slash tips for baby strippers or new entertainers new strippers it's basically things that i mean i would i would have loved for people to tell me but honestly this video can go on and on and on so if you guys want me to make a part two of this video don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below and let me know if you want me to make a part two of this video. So yeah, this is just 10 for right now. So let's get started. Okay, number one, stripping is not for everyone, okay? Who are really, really thinking about it and it's been on your mind for like at least like six months, maybe a year or whatever. Or, you know, you never know circumstances, but don't become a dancer and don't start dancing because it's a trend and you feel like it's a lot of fast easy money don't do that because you'll be doing it for all the wrong reasons and you might not get anything positive out of it you know it's not a trend to be a dancer to be a stripper and entertainer it comes with a lot it comes with a lot um it, it's not for everyone so Number one, if you are considering to dance, just think long and hard about it. If you have been thinking about it for a long time and it's just something that's been on your heart and you just want to do it, then I suggest you try it, do it. But if it's not for you, don't force it and don't fake the funk because it's really not for everyone. But if you want to do it, go ahead, try it out because it's better that you were able to do it and see that it wasn't for you than to just think and think and think and wonder and just have regrets so just don't have any regrets if you want to do it do it but also know that stripping is not for everyone okay, number two so this is for you just got hired at a club my first biggest advice and tip would be to watch and observe the reason why i say that and i can use it in terms of myself is because i've been dancing for it just hit two years and i mean if you follow me on social media if you follow me on instagram or you followed me on snapchat for a while then you've seen my progression when it comes to pole dancing i'm not gonna lie you know your girl is a beast on the pole okay i am the reason why i how i got like that is because i'm 100 percent self-taught all right but the reason why i got there is because i watched and observed it doesn't matter how long you've been dancing or how little you've been dancing or how much you think you know or the experiences that you go through life is our greatest teacher so you can learn a lot from anyone even a girl you feel like has isn't even in like in your category or whatever you can learn a lot from anyone so when i started dancing i would literally just don't spend all night just doing this because you're not going to make any money. But on your free time, just really watch and observe. Don't listen to people talk. Watch and observe. And that's how you'll be able to learn maybe what works, what doesn't work, what you like, what you don't like. In terms of pole dancing, you'll be able to see like, okay, I like that move. Watch them. You know what I mean? See where their hand is placed, what leg is gripping what what they're using to hold on to the pole just watch 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 and observe okay and know that you're never too far in the game or too experienced to not learn and watch and observe okay tip number three appearance is everything you have to understand that you're an entertainer you know when you come and you start and you become a dancer or whatever your hygiene the way you look your appearance is everything so for one if you're one of those girls that don't know how to do your makeup or whatever that is okay it low-key gets my nerves but learn how to do your makeup learn how to look flattering if not then put money aside for if you are at a club where there is a house mom or someone that does makeup invest in yourself get your makeup done you know you want to look like the best version of yourself okay make sure your nails are done make sure your toes are done if you can't afford a pedicure to go out make sure you keep up with them you know it doesn't take that much to make sure your toes look nice you know cut them trim them 
shave them down, all the dead skin, put some white polish on, and you're ready to go. Make sure your hair is nice. Make sure you're always smelling good, looking good. Your hygiene has to be tip top, okay? Because you are the product. You are what you are selling. Not like literally, but it is. Okay, people want to come in there and they want a fantasy, all right? You know, someone's fantasy isn't a girl that stinks, who looks ugly. You know, I'm, I'm lying for the lie. Everyone, everyone has their own taste. But majority of people, they want to come and they want to see attractive girls. So just make sure that your hygiene is up, your appearance is up, and that you're always striving to be the best version of yourself. Okay, tip number four. You first start dancing, I think for a little while, not like a year, but until you get comfortable, it's good to get used to one club first. There's cabarets, there's gentlemen's clubs, there's after hours spots. Like, I don't know where you're going to start off, but definitely try and find a club where you feel comfortable. And once you feel comfortable, I think you should stay there just so that way it's easier for you to build up clientele. Um, for two, I think um, it's just good to get your mind stable and to be able to just get used to one thing and kind of just build your knowledge for this industry because there's so much to learn and there's so much to learn when it comes to dancing. So I think by staying at one club, it's going to give you the ability to get used to people, have familiar faces, really actually be able to learn. Instead of having a very fast, changing environment, so yeah, if you can, try and stay at one club just for a little while to get comfortable. Okay, moving on to number five. Don't be scared to move clubs around, okay? So for me, for instance, when I first started dancing, I stayed at one club, it was a cabaret. I stayed there for almost a year. Once I moved from that club and I forced myself to start moving around clubs and just seeing different environments oh my gosh it just took off from there like within that year i thought i knew a lot about dancing but i really really did it you know and by moving different clubs guys one club okay ron's gentleman's club you know you've heard a lot of shit about that club or whatever a lot of talk about that club and you just always thought you know what i'm never gonna try it all the girls they do this they be doing this in the back you know i'm just not gonna try it it sounds like a ratchet club but then you go to ron gentleman's club and everything that you learned from larry's cabaret you use it at ron's gentleman's club and you make bank or maybe you go to that club and there's not a lot of pretty looking females but and you make bank you know um also there's so many customers that like even if it's a five minute difference that will go to one club and not go to the other and you're missing out on money or a potential customer because you're staying at one club so guys once you feel comfortable i advise you guys to not necessarily travel but to get further your education and your experience with dancing and move around clubs you know get different experience you know just test yourself push yourself okay tip number six it's really good to know that you are different from your stage name whatever that is you know you have to learn kind of how to um put up a wall between your stage name and who you are at the club versus who you are in person. Know at first that those two people do not need to intertwine, okay? Um, of course, it's different off of the customer, the club, everything, you know what I mean? But you don't have to, and I would hardly advise you guys to not be letting um, Bill, who is 46, divorced, wife just passed away, you know, you shouldn't be telling Bill where you live, where you stay, who you live with, who 
who you know you know like know how to put up a block and know that everyone doesn't even know everything about you okay you can make up a whole persona honestly i know i lied i still lie to this day one mistake that i see dancers make you know in real life okay Kelsey will not sit here and like I'm a very sweet person don't get me wrong I really am I'm a really sweet person but if an old man just wanted to talk to me about his wife or whatever or just you know like I'll listen for a little bit but I'm not gonna just stay there okay some people they bring their personalities into the club and it prevents them from making money because they don't have the patience to deal with people you know every club is different like i said club that i started working at it was a cabaret it was a white people's club okay um you know versus like a black club mainly black club or more urban club or whatever um how you make money is different okay i'll sit down with tom and have a 30 minute conversation and he'll give me a like hundred dollars or a couple hundred dollars versus you know at other clubs you might not have to talk that much you just have to bend over and start you know shaking your ass and see where it go from there but the girl that's used to that might go into a different environment where this man wants to sit down and talk to you maybe just like a 30 minute conversation like literally guys guys i've talked to someone for maybe like 30 minutes maybe 45 at the most and he gave me 300 dollars just for talking to him you know but some people I would watch, what they would go up to the him and they would get impatient, they weren't used to that, and they would walk away, and then boom. You know, you walked away and sat in a dressing room for 30 minutes complaining about how there's no money on the floor and how this man just wanted to talk to you for five minutes and he didn't give you any money right away or he didn't want to dance, and you missed out on $300. Know that you have to easily adapt to your customers, okay? You know, one guy might just want to go straight and do a dance and he doesn't want to talk, he doesn't want to do anything, he doesn't want to be personal, he doesn't even want to know your name. You know, then there might be another guy that just actually wants deep conversation, but they will pay you for their time. But also know the difference between a guy that just wants to waste your time and just wants to talk and talk and talk. Look out for them too, but just know how to leave yourself out the door and how to, when you step into the doors of the strip clubs or the clubs, just know how to be easily adaptable, uh, easily adaptable. Number seven, remember you are an entertainer first. This also goes hand in hand with what I just said. Patience, um, a nice personality, you know, guys, sometimes you gotta fake it till you make it. You know, sometimes you don't want to talk or you don't want to actually go on the stage and do your best because you're tired or maybe you're hungry, maybe you had a bad day and it's lingering on into work. But like Chick-fil-A, for instance, okay, you normally get exceptional service from Chick-fil-A. Same thing how if you were to go to the circus, you're going to see all the people that are needed and involved in a stunt or whatever they're going to perform at their utmost 100 percent. and you have to realize that you're an entertainer you're here to entertain so i feel like that should follow you into the club too so maybe the guys aren't tipping but there's a couple guys in there still make sure that when you're on you're on the stage and you're doing your stage set make sure you actually give it your all sometimes you forget that you're an entertainer and you're just there and yourself starts to kick in a little bit too much and you don't want to do it or your attitude is bad with everything you do remember you are an entertainer first number eight don't 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 please don't get into drugs all right don't drink too heavily if you are of age just don't guys like I understand that some people like they have to drink or they have to do this or that or that before they get on the floor <sighs> guys for one why you know smoke some weed drink a little bit if you need to that's about it it's all you really need you know but 
Men, for one, your looks are what are, is getting you in there. So let's be real, okay? For two, guys, in a place like the club and in the strip club, you want to be as alert and as aware of what's going on right now as possible. Like you want to be aware and alert at all times, you know? You get fucked up one night and leave your money or you know a girl steals it it's because you're not on your a game so guys honestly i go on and on and on and on why you should not get hooked onto drugs and why you shouldn't even try drugs or do them especially when you're dancing but i think it's pretty self-explanatory just don't do drugs tip number nine if you are able to and you are thinking about dancing and you want to try it out try to do it with your Try to do it with a friend. Reason why I say that is because, you know, it's good to be able to have someone that's not attached to the strip club that's actually a friend to be able to help you and just moral support for both you guys, you know. Not necessarily to be able to have someone that knows experience because you guys could both be new, but versus going into the club and trying to meet a friend, you never know people's intentions, you never know how people truly are right off the bat. So I feel like if you are able to start dancing with a friend, it'll make you more comfortable and it'll just give you more like social and moral support. So if you are able to start dancing with a friend, then I think so. Yeah, dance with a friend if you can. Okay, and tip number 10. Set your boundaries and be firm in your beliefs, okay? New dancers, don't listen to anyone that's making you feel like you have to degrade yourself or put yourself at a lower standard because maybe you're having a bad night or whatever. Or whatever, guys. You know, if you are giving a dance or, you know, you have a private room or whatever with someone and they're making you feel uncomfortable, you are the product you are the entertainer fuck management fuck whatever you have the opportunity and the option to say no i don't know what kind of club you work at it could be a really dirty club whatever but if you also find yourself happening to start at a club where you feel like they don't care about that kind of stuff then move clubs and go to a club where they actually care and you have a voice you have an opinion and they're strict on stuff like that because there's so many endless bad things that can really happen to you with um where it's, you know if you don't speak up for yourself so make sure before going in or right when you start you set beliefs and you set goals and you stick to them okay and don't lower your standards okay really don't i mean i hear crazy low at just crazy prices that people are willing to, or people are willing to do more or whatever like just think about it like this if anyone were to, if anyone were to present you with an offer about anything it doesn't even have to be sexual if it just makes you feel uncomfortable sexual whatever let's say a guy asks to buy a pair of panties dirty panties off of you okay or a bloody tampon or if a guy asks to buy your pee listen these are real stories and these are real things people really will buy these things off you and ask you in the club for them for them Okay, and let's say it makes you feel uncomfortable. The guy says he's gonna give you $100 for your pee, okay? You're like, mm, I don't know. I mean, it's my pee, it's kinda weird to pee in a cup and you know, whatever. And let's say you do it, okay? And the guy takes the pee and runs off with it. You know, how dumb are you going to feel, all right? <laughs> Just know, when you start dancing, set beliefs and set goals and stick to them, all right? Also with goals, I see a lot of dancers that just, they go into it not really knowing why they're doing it, what they're doing it for, and what their next step is going to be after, what they're just using dancing for, because dancing can really, it can be a very, very, very nice step to where you want to go, or whatever you want to do, okay? But you just have to know how to do it right and how to move right. So set a goal, set a plan, save money okay don't just come into this and just live night by night or whatever and just not have any plans make plans set goals and stick to them okay guys so those are my 10 tips and advice for new strippers or baby strippers 
Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you want to see more content, don't forget to subscribe down below. Comment if you are a dancer and you relate to any of the things that I said. If you disagree with any of the things that I said, comment below. Um, also comment what my next video should be. I'm going to make sure I try and keep my niche for like the first maybe like seven. Oops. Like the, the first seven videos um, stripper related and then I'm going to move on to something else. So yeah guys, um, that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, share to a friend. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos by me. Okay. Alright, bye.